Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I am going to show you a step-by-step -step guide on how you can start and set up your email automation in your Shopify store in a quick and easy way for free. So here we are in Shopify. So first things first, I would highly recommend that you upgrade your plan into the advanced plan of Shopify. It is only $1 per month for the first three months by using our link in the description. With the advanced plan, you would have all the functionalities of Shopify right here. You would not be limited on its functions compared to when you have the basic or the normal Shopify plan here. Then you would have a limited options on how you can build your store. So getting the advanced plan at this price is a really great deal. So now that you know about this, let's proceed into the video. So now let's start. And the first thing that you would need in order for you to have your email automation right here in Shopify is the automations feature in the marketing at the left side of our screen right here. Click on marketing. And then from here, you can see the automations right here. So click on it. And then from here, you can see the features right here. But take note that this feature, the automation feature, is only available for those who have the plan in Shopify. So if you have the basic plan or advanced plan and so on, just not the trial plan. This is not available for the trial plan. So you would really need to subscribe into the plan of Shop Shopify. So the plans of Shopify in order for you to have the automations because this is an absolute need for your email automation. And just like I suggested, the first thing is that you can use our link in the description so that you can have a discount for $1 per month only all you have to pay is one dollar per month for the first three months here in Shopify by using our link in the description so now that you know that now we're going to proceed to the next thing that we're going to need is to go here into the search bar and type email and we're going to download the Shopify email app this one right here and if you can see the email app right here in your search bar you're going to click here on search for email in the Shopify app store click on it and then from here it's going to load and you're going to see this right here and you would want to click on it and make sure that it is installed right here just like so as you can see i already have mine installed so now that you have done that then now we can proceed to the next one so we're going to go here into marketing and then automations right here so we have a lot right here so we have the abundant cart we have the abundant product browse so this is when engaging customers to view the product but they didn't add anything under cart then you can just also turn this on or you could create an automation just like this one right here in this button you can create an automation for yourself right here so you have a lot of templates right here and you can also create a custom one by, by going here into creating your own so click on create custom automation and then from here you can make one from scratch but first let's go to the template so that i can explain better on how this works and yeah so now we're gonna go into back let's go back and then right here let's say we want to turn on our abandoned cart automation so this is when uh shopify reminds customers when they left items in their shopping cart so they didn't they didn't check out all they have to they had to do is they only added it to their cart so we're gonna turn this on right there and we're just gonna wait for it and right there as you can see it's now active right here so we're gonna go click on that right there and then from here as you can see we have our workflow so this is what would happen right here and as you can see right here you have left items in your cart just like that this is our items right here and you can see some data right here the workflow run history this is if the this workflow or this automation it has been running and you can see the history right here and now we're gonna go to the most important part right here which is the workflow so we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on that edit workflow right there and then we're gonna be heading into this page as you can see let's just uh, zoom in i mean zoom out right there just like that and as you can see we have this right here so the first card as you can see right here this automation will be triggered or will start when customer left the online store without making a purchase right here and after that after 
it starts, then it will check if the abandonment type is equal to cart right there and it's gonna wait for four hours if there is no action from the customer they didn't check out what's in their cart then this would happen right here customer hasn't added another cart and hasn't started check out hasn't completed an order since starting the workflow just like i said it's gonna wait and then it's gonna check again if the customer hasn't added another product and so on and another check if the customer hasn't received another abandonment email in the last 14 days and check again this is the condition one so this is what we call a condition which i'm going to be explaining later and it's going to check again if one or more products in cart are in stock and if this fits the description and if these are all checked right here for the customer then this AI or this automation will be doing this one right here. It will be sending a marketing email for to your customer right there so that they will be uh, reminded of their abandoned cart and they would be encouraged to check out their abandoned cart. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this one right here. And as you can see, we have the badge right here for the Shopify email badge. And we'll be that is why in the first place, I ask you to install this first so that you would have an easier time. So right here, we can see it right here. And this is how it would look like right here. This is the marketing email. So this is what it would look like. The, the uh, customer would see everything right here in their cart. So the uh, AI right here in Shopify would be sending the customer's cart information into their email right here. So yeah, this is how it would look like. And if you would want to edit this right here, if you don't like how this uh, looks, then you can click here on edit email right there. And then from here, let's wait for it to load. And then from here, we have it right here. So you have the two right here so this would mean that this would be sent to the customers subscribe to email marketing so if your customer hasn't subscribed to email marketing that they they won't receive this email even if they have uh, some items in your cart that they have abandoned they would still not receive this email if they haven't subscribed to email marketing right here and this would be the subject you left items in your cart and so on from my store right here and this one you can edit into your own email right there and you can verify it and so on and from here you can edit this right here so you can go actually and click and edit customers won't receive this email while in a draft state once you're done editing save the email and it will resume sending so yeah you would need to save the email and click on continue right there and after that, we're gonna go and create your mail. You can edit and add move content directly right there. Or you can click here on add section. And as you can see, we have added a section right here. And yeah, let's click add section and you can place whatever you want. So maybe a gift card. A gift card would be nice so that the customers would be encouraged to get your products right here because they would have a discount using your gift card right here. So buy a gift card and so on, or you can just simply place a discount right here or a coupon right there. Click, click on discount and you have the discount value and so on. And you can edit this. So you can edit it by using this right here. Once you click on this uh, section right here. So for example, you want to disable the header, then you can do it right here. You can just hide it or you can just go and do it like that one. And then you can edit a text right here. So buy now for a discount. You can maybe edit it like this and so on. And actually, this is much simpler now because back then you would have to do some coding in order for you to edit your email like this. But now it's like this, so it's much easier. So this is a very good update for you. And you can even select a discount right here and so on. And you can even edit this right here, the title, variance, and so on. But yeah, this is purely subjective. So I'm not going to dwell into this. This would depend on what you would need for your uh, store. So it depends on your strategy. So once we're done with this one, we have the option to send a test. What this would do is this would send an email to your email regarding this one right here. This would send a marketing email regarding the abandoned cart. And you can see if it's correct and if there's nothing wrong, that is very important in checking your email so that they won't be able to see any errors in your 
uh, sh in your shop so that they won't be able to think that your shop is not really good or it's not it cannot be trusted and you can also click here on this icon right here and you can switch it to mobile uh, style so this is how it would look like when the customers views it from their mobile and yeah that is basically it and now once you're done with all of this click on save so that it can now resume sending right here to send this email three changes need to be made select a gift card discount right here and identify or verify email and now as you can see we have this alert sign right here which means that there is something wrong with the email and the automation cannot be sending an email because of this error right here so to fix this error you need to click on what is wrong with this one and you need to fix it so in this case it's in draft state so we would need to save the email so to save the email we need to click on edit email and then from here we would be needing to click on save on this one but there will be an error so select a gift card and select a discount and so on but in my case i don't have a gift card yet because i haven't set it up for this one in this store but if in your case you would want to put some discount or some gift card or whatsoever then you would need to set it up right here by here you need to select a gift card if you want a gift card and if the discount you would need to select a discount right here but as you can see i don't have mine so in my case i'll just be deleting this right there and we're going to be clicking on save and now the ones that it's saved as you can see we don't have the alert sign anymore which means that this is now working perfectly fine and by the way if you want to edit your workflow and you want to add something then you can actually click here and we have the condition in the action so condition is this is the check if as you can see as you can observe right there so shopify would be checking if the conditions are met right here or if any conditions are met as you can see right here but if in this one right here as you can see we have a lot of check ifs right here so we're, when we click on them right here we would be able to see that the, it is set to if all conditions are met which means that if any of these conditions right here are not met the, it won't be able to proceed right here which is sending marketing email to your customer so yeah this is also very important when selecting your conditions and after that you want to click on add criteria and then from here you can see a lot of criteria right here so you can go for customer shop and abandonment and show so on if you want to go into customer and you have a lot of options right here or if you have an idea in mind already you can just search it for this one right here in the search bar so you would have an easier time and the next one is we're going to delete this right here select and click on delete right there and we're going to go for the actions next so that i can guide you and how you can do it click on the action right here so you have a lot of actions right here so you can also select the app right here that you want you to use to for your action so you can do it right here or you could just go and um, go here and you can say wait and you have to wait for a set amount of time before continuing and so on but this is in the app right here so we're just gonna go here and let's go back go into action right here we're gonna go for the email and send marketing email again and so on so yeah you can do it here in your actions and so on so you could do that by using your app so we're gonna be deleting this and now that you know how you can create your own workflow by using the conditions and the actions right here so you basically can just create this chart on your own right there by making a custom one so we're gonna go and click on apply changes click on apply and then it would um, take effect immediately right here as you can see it's currently active right there let's go back as you can see it's active make sure it's active so that you can be rest assured that it's going to send uh, marketing emails to your customers and just like i said you can create an automation right here that you'd want so if you need any of these templates right here then you can also do that or if you could create a custom automation then you could also do that so any of this right here is basically just like the first one that we have done so for example we'll be choosing a uh, welcome new subscriber and then click on use workflow and as you can see it's just a template of workflow right here it's basically the same and uh, no need for that one and you can also create your own automation click create automation create custom automation and then from here you can uh, select your own so you can start here so maybe you can go for a condition and so on but the, the first step is an action so from here what we're gonna do is you're gonna select and 
action right here or you could just select a trigger and so on and yeah so that would be your steps right here and click on exit right there and just like that you have successfully created your email automations and set it up and by the way if you would want some really high-end email automation then i suggest that you use uh, paid apps in the shopify store because this one is very simple but still it's very effective but if you want to be in the highest level then you can go for email right here in the search bar click on the shopify app store and what i recommend right here is the uh, clavio right here you want to go for this one right here this is what i recommend and in this one you'd be able to create high-end emails that would lead to higher conversions but if you don't have the budget then you're perfectly fine with the shopify email right here so that is basically it and how you can do it right here in Shopify. Thank you for watching.